this has been here my whole life. Dan Bickle, who is a music instructor at Jackson College, has also been an instructor at Playford Music for 20 years, but he has been around this store for decades. We met here back in the 80s, in the late 80s, when we all wanted to learn to play the guitar, and we all just enjoyed music, and we found out there was a store in town, and then the owner was really nice to everybody, um, real straight shooter. Uh, it just it made it feel like it was a place that we could go because we liked what was here and we liked the people we met here. Some of his fondest memories come from a local competition called the Hot Licks Hot Sticks Contest. Which was for kids to play guitar or to play drums. And we would all go home and record ourselves and get turned in a 45 second audition and they would choose just the top three of the whole area who would get to perform at the Westwood Mall, which at the time there was a big stage and there must have been 150, 200 people lining the sides of the mall watching us play our little riffs by Poison and Guns and Roses. But we met some of our friends who eventually were bandmates. And still to this day, I play in a band with one of the people who I met in that competition in 1989. Saturday, Playford Music is closing its doors after 46 years of serving the Jackson community. I kind of knew that something like that would probably be coming because it had been in the discussion for several years. Retail's been a little tougher, so the store does most of its business now through like churches and schools, and we've done a lot of the sound systems at football stadiums and gymnasiums. Craig Playford, who owns the music store, said in a statement, many times in the store's 46 years, wiser men would have probably closed the store and gone on to other careers. I never really considered doing this. What I love most about my career is the people. My band instrument repairman Craig Easterday has been with me since the late 1970s. Then there are my customers, the most important. You do the best you can to make sure you are doing the best by your customers. I can't imagine a more charmed lifetime of work that wasn't work and I'm extremely grateful to those who have been part of my journey along the way. My thanks to you all. It's really just a place where all of the musicians knew they could come to pick up a set of strings, talk to a couple friends, make a couple high dollar purchases a few times a year, but the consistency of just knowing, oh gosh, I broke a string, I've got a gig tonight, I'll run over to the store and just get a quick pack of strings, you know, say hi to whoever's working. Um, networking and friendship. Um, it's really been the center of the musical community. The store may be closing, but Bickle says they will still be holding music lessons for now. Your Jackson Neighborhood Reporter, Joe Gebhardt, Fox 47 News.